What's up guys and welcome to another video. Recently, I had the privilege of attending a tech conference called Black Tech Fest. And during this conference, I took the opportunity to speak to some tech professionals. And one of the professionals I spoke to happened to be a cloud solutions architect. He shared some of his thoughts on his role and some of his thoughts on cloud computing. So I hope you guys really enjoy this interview. All right, who am I here with today? My name is Chia Onyekwena. Chia, what do you do, Chia? So I'm a solutions architect. Sick. And what do you love about what you do? What I love is solving customer problems. So customers come to me with what big, hairy problems. And what my job is is to map those problems to technology solutions. And that really is fun because you get to do that with different customers in different industries and with different problems. So yeah, very exciting. Do you enjoy what you do? And do you feel like you're fairly compensated for the work that you do? Yes, I enjoy what I do because I think every day is a new challenge, a new customer, it's a, it's a new problem every day. So it keeps me on my toes. I constantly have to study. And then, yeah, in terms of compensation, I can't complain, to be honest. Yeah. As a cloud solutions architect, is cloud the future? Yes, the cl cloud is the future and cloud is now, actually. Because if you look at it, I, I know uh, Gen AI is very topical, for instance, and a lot of people talk about Gen AI. Um, but to be honest, AI has been around for a while. And I'm just using this as an example to illustrate why cloud computing is important. So what has actually happened is uh, AI which is an infection point, right? With, with, um, with data becoming uh, cheaper because of cloud computing and computing becoming cheaper as well. And so that's helped this conversation where it's, where it's reached like a convergence point. And you know, everyone is talking about Gen AI, but they sort of forgot how we got here, right? And it was really cloud computing that created that foundation for, for Gen AI commission. Right. And last question, for anyone who wants to become a solutions architect, how would they start and how would they get to that point of becoming a cloud solutions architect? That's a good question because it, it's very interesting because I think there are a number of ways. So the traditional routes, which is what the route I took, was I became an engineer first. And then after a while working in business, I became a solutions architect because you need, you need both skills. You need engineering skills, you need a bit of business skills. But I've seen a lot of people taking a different route. So you could, you could do a number of courses or a number of training or information programs. And then sort of gives you that real world experience that you sort of uh, you, you get as an engineer. And then you can you know, sort of leapfrog the process a little bit and become a solutions architect. But nothing beats that real world experience at the end of the day. That was really a great interview. And one of the questions which I asked him was, is cloud the future? And this is a question which I get asked from time to time. Is cloud computing the future? And my answer is always, no, it's not the future, it's the present because it's here and it's now. There are very few companies that can get away with operating without any form of cloud computing, whether that's a really large company or whether that's a startup or small company. Pretty much every company nowadays needs different forms of cloud computing. And even individuals, there are very few individuals who do not use the cloud. Whether you have an iPhone or an Android, you're using the cloud on your phone. And whether you're working using Google Drive or Dropbox, you're using the cloud in one way or the other. This was a really good interview and I got some great input from him. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.